Hi there, today I want to show you one cool library that we built for Ethereum community. It's called GasPrice Oracle, available on npmgs for JavaScript developers. This particular library allows Ethereum developers to easily fetch current gas price for their Ethereum dApps. And the way it works, it has a few API endpoints. Uh, one of them, very simple one, is called gas prices. Uh, the second one is called fetch gas prices off chain. And the third one is uh, fetch gas prices on chain. This is really cool and robust thing to do because uh, if none of those, if you call this method gas prices, it will try to fetch the gas price from one of those uh, endpoints. If none of them are available, it will fall back to this robust uh, provider called Chainlink. They provide you this data uh, on chain uh, as a, uh, as a smart, on a smart contract level. It's a pretty cool feature because it actually unblocks some of those people that are not able to make a request to one of those endpoints as we already experienced it on a application called tornado.cash. And by the way, tornado.cash is currently using this library on, in production. And today we're gonna show you how it's done. So basically, when you go to tornado.cash, it needs to know the current gas price uh, rate uh, so that the users can actually send a transaction and it will be mined uh, very quickly. So basically, I already pre-blocked those four endpoints so we can actually see that it actually using the Chainlink Oracle and the application is still able to function for normal users. So basically, let's say we unblock this API endpoint and we refresh the page. We would see that the tornado.cache was able to get this price from that endpoint, if gas API. And let's say now we are not able to get to this endpoint and we will refresh it we would see that uh, it still got the gas price. I can prove it to you. So let's say we, we want to make a deposit, for example, with our uh, MetaMask. So we'll click deposit, send deposit, and it should pop up the MetaMask. So the MetaMask, as we can see, it tells me that it preset the gas price to 14.1 gigawatt. How did it, did it get this data from? Thankfully to Chainlink, this app was still working, so we can actually see that it made this on-chain request in our Chrome network inspector. So we can see this is the request that it actually made uh, to this smart contract, and we can prove it that it is a Chainlink smart contract. So we paste it in here, click contract, read contract, and this is the value of 14.3. This is the exact value that we saw in our MetaMask. And this, is, this proves that we actually got this data on chain from Chainlink on, with Ternada Cash. Thank you for watching and keep building robust, decentralized applications, especially with the help of, from Chainlink. It will give you much more ability to be unblocked. Thank you.